I'm Brian, and this is the Gospel of Matthew in three minutes. Let's go. The Gospel of Matthew was written sometime in the late 50s to late 60s. It's the second gospel written and relied on Mark's gospel, the first gospel, as a primary source text. The author of the Gospel of Matthew has traditionally been considered one of the original 12 disciples of Jesus, a man by the name of Matthew or Levi, who was a Jewish tax collector. The Gospel of Matthew is the most Jewish of all the Gospels, with over 60 direct Old Testament citations. Matthew tries to show Jesus along the backdrop of Israel's sacred history. What Matthew shows us is that Jesus is the true king of Israel who establishes the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Israel as the new kingdom of God, also known as the church, the new ultimate people of God. For Matthew, the story of God bringing his redemption to the earth finds its ultimate fulfillment in Jesus, the Christ. And speaking of Christ, Matthew has what we refer to as a very high Christology. Matthew sees Jesus as the long-awaited Messiah or Christ who will fulfill God's kingdom by bringing many people into the family of God. In Matthew's gospel, it's broken down into primarily five major sections. Now, these five major sections are parallel sections that have been put together intentionally to show Jesus as the great teacher giving the new law of God that's ultimately fulfilled in who he is as the person and the work of God. These sections all begin with a story or an account from the life or ministry of Jesus, and then they end with a lengthy series of teaching referred to as discourses. Matthew's gospel ends with what's been referred to as the Great Commission. In Matthew 28, we see Jesus resurrected, full of glory, standing on top of the Mount of Olives. And it's there where he speaks to his disciples and he tells them that he has all the authority in heaven and earth and commissions them to go into the world and make disciples. Today, there are approximately 2.4 billion Christians worldwide. And those Christians can trace their lineage back to the fact that those first disciples and every generation since then has gotten serious about the Great Commission. So as we read Matthew's gospel, let's make sure that we stand alongside with those disciples and go make disciples, pointing them to Jesus. And that's the gospel of Matthew in three minutes. Guys, I'm Brian. Thank you so much for hanging out today. If this video has added any value to you, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate that. And if you haven't subscribed, we'd love to have you part of the family. I'm Brian. Thanks for being here. And as always, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.